It's December 4th, 2025, and history just pulled a massive U-turn. Remember back in late 2022, ChatGPT launched the world, lost its mind, and inside Google headquarters, Sundar Pichai slammed the big red button, declaring a code red. Well, that is exactly, <laughs> that is exactly why AI matters today, because somebody called the code red. He declared a code red because their entire search business was under threat. But before we get deep into that, my name's Ikello Herod. This is why AI matters. Do me a favor, like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing. Well, three years later, the tables haven't just turned. They flipped completely over. This week, reports broke that OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has issued his very own Code Red, an internal Code Red. The undisputed king of AI is panicking. Why? Because for the first time, they are losing. Today, we are tearing apart this memo. We're looking at the cynical take, the terrifying reality, and the one massive decision that proves this isn't just marketing hype. Buckle up. First, the facts. What triggered this? Two words, Gemini 3. Google's latest model is out and by almost every metric that matters. Benchmark speed, multi-modality capabilities, and crucially, user vibes, man. How, does the, how do you feel when you're using it? It's beating OpenAI's current flagship. People are noticing. Internal OpenAI data reportedly shows user growth slowing down and even worse than that. Paid subscribers churning out to switch to Google or to Anthropic. And here's the brutal economic reality that we're facing. Google, they own the stack. <laughs> they make their own chips. They own their own data centers. OpenAI has to pay Microsoft for compute, y'all. I hope everyone understands that. They are completely dependent on it. In an all-out price war, Google can afford to bleed cash to win. OpenAI cannot burn money forever if their product isn't undisputed number one. Sam Altman's directive is, it's drastic. Pause everything else. They planned an ad network. They delayed it. <laughs> the new Pulse personal assistant? Eh, you know, we're going to shelve that for a little while. All hands on deck to fix the core chat gpt product right now now this is silicon valley so all right we have to be a little cynical we have to at least take it to a cynical angle is this just theater some argue that code red is just executive speak for everyone cancel your christmas plans because we're entering crunch mode it's a great way to squeeze 80 hour weeks out of a staff by manufacturing a crisis and also <laughs> it's an incredible narrative when OpenAI eventually releases their big model, the story isn't just they launched a product, it's they saved the company from the brink. And now I'm not trying to say that he is trying to do that, but investors do love a wartime CEO and this drama might be exactly what's needed to secure their next hundred billion dollar funding round. But if you push the cynicism aside, the reality is, well, it's much starker. This is an innovate or die moment. The fear here is the Netscape scenario. Being first doesn't matter if the incumbent giant wakes up and uses their massive distribution to crush you. Microsoft, Netscape. If Gemini is even 10% better, why would anyone pay 20 bucks a month for ChatGPT when Google bills Gemini into every phone, every browser for free? This code red is an admission that ChatGPT quality may have slipped a little bit. Users know it's gotten lazy and cynical. Their moat, that magical lead they had, it's gone. It's now a bare knuckle fight for survival. And here is the final verdict. Is it real or is it marketing? I think it's absolutely real. And here's the proof. They delayed the advertising platform. Companies, 
that are just doing marketing theater, they do not, and I do repeat, they do not voluntarily delay their primary strategy for making money. And I'm telling you, OpenAI is, they, <laughs> they desperately need revenue to plug their profitability gap. But putting ads on hold, <laughs> they are sacrificing near-term money, survival cash, because they are terrified that if they don't fix the product today, they won't have users left to show ads to tomorrow. The king is vulnerable. The AI wars just entered a brutal new phase. What do you think? Is ChatGPT cooked? Or is this the pressure diamond they need to ship something incredible? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Also, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because YouTube likes to YouTube. And this is why AI matters. Why does AI matter today? Why? It's because I called the code red.